Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this simple text transition inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. All links are available in the description and you can join my Motion Pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees. You'll get access to new videos, motion graphic tutorials, after effect tutorials, cinema 4D tutorials etc etc and it will be a support for this channel as well. And if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel, hit on that like button and don't forget to share with your friends. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's quickly create another composition over here which we are going to name it as, as always, we will name it as Main Animation. Width is going to be 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and light option and simply hit on title selection. Then I'm going to make this fit. And now we are going to type our text and for the font you can choose any font you want but uh, I would suggest that uh, try to use something which is uh, bold. Okay, so let's uh, choose any font. I'm going to type my text top over here and let's choose black color and let's increase the size. I don't want this italic uh, along with that it should be in a regular format and I'm going to fold it as let's uh, select this. Uh, press Ctrl Alt O, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and align it vertically like that. And now uh, we are going to type our text. Uh, let's type dope. Okay, let's select this and press Ctrl Alt O, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. I'll go to the character menu and I'll try to make this a bold. Okay, like that. Now. Along with this, let's select this and hit Ctrl D. Let's hide this layer and over here, I'm going to type more text over here like that. So, okay, so now we have this two as a reference here. So let's focus on this D, D O P E. Okay, hit Ctrl D, uh, select this and hit Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring this at the top and change the color of this layer to yellow. And let's lock all of the layers. Let's select this layer and let's try to choose red color just for now. And let's remove this OPE and we need only this D and make sure to press Ctrl Alt Home. Press V for selection tool and by holding Shift, uh, try to adjust it properly over here uh, with the help of arrow keys. Then uh, select this layer and hit Ctrl V. Uh, and uh, this time, uh, let's select this and move this over here. And let's make this O. Make sure to choose capital O. And try to bring this over here. Again, hit Ctrl D. Let's move this over here and change this text to capital P. Select this with the help of arrow keys. I'm going to adjust it. Again, select this, hit Ctrl D. Let's change this text to E. Select this and try to bring this up to this. Okay. And select all the layers and press Ctrl Alt Home to make sure that align, uh, align uh, anchor point to the center. Now press P for position to create one keyframe, then press R for rotation to create another keyframe and hit Y. Okay, then after somewhere around one second over here, uh, let's select this B uh, and let's try to move this over here. Let's try to move this over here, this over here and this over here like that. Then somewhere around at two second, Control C, Control V, the first keyframe like that. Then somewhere around at uh, one second, let's make this rotation 360 degree like that. And at the start, let's make this value zero like that. So if we check it out this, we will get this and then we'll get this. Okay. Now let's select those keyframes and let's hit F9. Go to the graph, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and move this handle over here. Okay. So if we check it out this, we will get something like that. Now, what I want is that uh, somewhere in this point over here, there should be some change in text because our second text is moved. So let's enable this move word over here. Okay. 
like that and enable the motion blur for this text over here so it will be a little bit faster and then somewhere around at this portion like at this point where this are quite blurry i'm going to select this t and this e let's go inside this text options of both layers and create one keyframe on source text of both of these layers okay and now hit u and hit page down button one time to go one frame forward and select this d go to the text tool and let's make this m similarly select this e and let's make this text e over here okay uh, i forgot to forgot that uh, e is same so basically we need to change this p so let's uh, delete this keyframe on e and let's make those keyframes on this p create one keyframe over here go one frame forward and this time we need to type v over there okay so we will get uh, something like that and then hit u and at the this point over here we need to adjust this portion properly uh, select this o try to move this over here with the help of arrow keys move this v over here select this e and try to move this over here like that okay like that select all of this and pick u so if you check it out this we will get this and then you get this then go to the start and create one keyframe on the source text as well as over here because we have applied source text keyframe on this p and d only then go to around 2 select this and create another keyframe on there then uh, hit page down button one time Select all of these layers, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, keyframe assistance, sequence layers. Select all of this, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, keyframe assistance, sequence layers. Time reverse uh, keyframe. Sorry. Select this, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframe. Select this, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframe. So we will get that again over here now if i go to four frames and hit n and let's uh, hide this move award and if i check it out this animation i'll get something like that okay now just check it out whether on source text we will get this loop out expression or not if it's uh, we'll, if, if we will get that then as you guys can see it's not supporting loop out expression so uh, what you can do over here is that uh, let's take a gap of uh, four frames select this o move this over here move this over here and move this over here like that so uh, we will get something like that then go to the start select all of them and by holding alt open square bracket move this over here okay now select this uh, e keyframe and hit u uh, and let's see where is the last keyframe of this which is somewhere around over here and hit n over here so now if we check it out this animation we will get this kind of a text uh, animation or transition animation and select those keyframes uh, uh, not keyframe but text i'm going to choose something like uh, neon green and i'm going uh, for all of this text uh, over here but uh, one thing is that we need to understand is that uh, because we have applied keyframe on each and every uh, source text so it would be a very problematic to change the key text color over here so instead of that what i'm gonna do i'll select this d i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply fill effect and in that fill effect i'm going to pick up that uh, neon green color so select this fill effect hit ctrl c select all the remaining layers and hit ctrl v then press ctrl y and choose grayish color hit ok hit ok and try to bring this uh, at the bottom then go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc winget effect and click it to apply and increase the amount as well as increase the angle of view okay so if you check it out this we are gonna get something like that okay like that so then I'm going to select these layers and I'm going to press Ctrl Shift C and let's for it as text and hit OP. Then after that, uh, select this uh, and hit Ctrl D. Select the second layer and go to the Effect and Presets panel and search for Find Edge Effect and double click to apply. And with the help of arrow keys, try to move the specs a little bit over here 
and if I choose invert, I'll get this kind of lines. Then press F4 and choose screen option. Then you will see that lines only. Okay, so it's totally up to you how you want to use it. I'm going to pick up it like that only. Like that. Then uh, there should be uh, some background element to this. So for that, uh, I'm going to press G4, which is a shortcut key for pen tool. And I'm going to choose white color for the stroke. And stroke width, I'm going to choose 0.5. And I don't want any fill, so I'll delete this fill. And from here to here, I'm going to create one stroke. Then select this and press Ctrl Alt Home. Uh, sorry, press Ctrl Alt Home. Uh, let's make this fit like that. Select this and with the help of Align tab, I'm going to choose Align Left. Then go over here. Uh, go to, uh, go to the Add menu and choose Repeater. Go to the Repeater and let's uh, increase the number of copies like that. Also go to the Transform and decrease the copies somewhere up to this and let's increase the copies up to this then minimize it select this shape layer pick ctrl d press r for rotation and rotate it on 90 degree then go to the align tab uh, align horizontally and go to the align top press s uh, s over here uh, unlink this and let's uh, try to increase the scale select both of this and let's try to bring this downwards and let's change the stroke width to 0.5 or something like that. Okay, so we'll get something like that. Now, after that, uh, if you want, then uh, you can right click new and create one adjustment layer. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for blow effect and double click to apply. And you can increase the blow radius, increase the blow threshold and in decrease the blue intensity to 0.3 or something like that so we will get this kind of a blue effect as well so this is how you can create this kind of a text transition